Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about the fire stick. My fire stick tends to freeze after a certain period of time, especially when I'm running certain apps like Pluto TV. And I'm going to show you what's the best way to fix it if this is happening to you. Okay, so I want to take a look at this. So right now you're looking at my fire stick on my TV that seems to be like going real slow. It takes a while to bring up the menu. And then when the menu comes up, sometimes it just automatically reboot. Okay, so I know you can't see the remote, but I'm actually pressing the buttons to go left and right and nothing is happening. Every once in a while, if I just keep clicking it, eventually it will move to a position on the menu, but then it would just freeze up and then just reboot. And it would just keep on doing this. Now, the best way to fix this is to get to the settings. Once you get into settings, then you want to go over to My Fire TV. Then once you get into My Fire TV, then you want to go all the way down to Restart. So click on the Restart, and then it's going to restart the Fire TV stick. So what's that going to do is flush the memory, so it will restart, and you won't have that issue of it just freezing up like that. So if you notice that your Fire Stick is freezing up or acting real sluggish, this is the quick, easy fix. Now, if you can't get into settings to do the restart because it keeps on freezing and rebooting and, and it just won't let you get to that part of the settings to do the restart, then the best thing to do is just pull the power cord. Let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute and then just plug it back in and let it do the restart automatically. Give it a couple seconds once it boot back up to the menu to just load up everything again and then you should be back to operational where it's more zippy instead of sluggish okay so if you're curious to want to know why this is happening it comes from just the lack of enough memory inside the fire stick amazon is just not putting enough memory in there because once you start loading up apps you start eating up the memory but you also need memory to do live streaming because it works like this you choose the movie or tv show that you want to watch then the fire stick goes to that server and start pulling the information in and then serve it up to you. So it's pulling the stuff from the server in chunks, store it on the fire stick, and then it feeds it out to you. So it's a pull store view. And that's how the process works. Now, when the fire stick runs out of memory, because it's pulling and storing and it has nowhere else to store, it tends to make the fire stick just go into this limbo of freezing and it just cannot operate anymore because you still have software that runs on the fire stick plus the operating system that makes the fire stick work and now you stream it so whatever memory is left over that's what the streaming is trying to use but remember that the fire stick need to operate the software also so when you start losing enough memory then it becomes where the system freezes up because there's a clash in storage and space for the operating system and the storage for the streaming to work at the same time so if Amazon actually put enough memory into the Fire Stick, like 32 gigabytes instead of eight gigabytes, or even let you install a SD card into the slot to expand the memory, then this will reduce this issue. Until they do something like that, you would have to probably keep on doing this method to keep the Fire Stick fresh. And you might wanna do it like every week or something like that, because if you watch streaming device a lot, then eventually it's probably going to have this happen to you because I've been noticing this a lot when I watch Pluto TV and some of my other apps. So that's why I wanted to make this video to show what's happening. And if you're experiencing what I'm experiencing, this is the solution that I use to solve my problem and I wanted to share it with you. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.